This was so bad. So terrible. Things, things were questionable at the start, but I was looking forward to it. I was having fun. And then Mount Press was awful. And if you've watched all of my videos from, from that whole thing with Mount Press, you will know my feelings on that. And I will not reiterate that, except that I will restate that that after getting to the Elite Four and defeating them, everything after what you would consider a normal Pokemon game, with the exception of Mount Press, was boring, pointless, tedious, and truly, like, assuming you can hear the cat in the background, is truly just a mess. Because after we get past the main Pokemon adventure, there's nothing to do except to rematch the Elite Four, apparently, and level grind. Why is that? Why couldn't we have maybe sh integrated this into the plot before the Elite Four? Why couldn't we expand upon the whole thing with Loki and the guy in uh, Agazi Town? Why couldn't I go to the top of that tower? Why, why did we have to introduce four characters that I had to fight before I got to the Elite Four again when maybe we should have used that time to officially and finally, story-wise, in regards to me fighting them, finish off Athena, I mean, not Athena, Freya, Thor, and Loki to get to Odin. I mean... I don't understand why there was just everything after fighting the Elite Four initially and becoming champion was pointless. I had half a mind to stop right after the Elite Four in that fight with Odin. But I thought, no, the, the main story is still going. So I should go with it until I finally reach the end. Or I get to the point where I just need a break from Pokemon for a very long time. And now I regret the decision that I continued. Because there's no reason to continue after you defeat the Elite Four. There was... This isn't a satisfying conclusion. I'm... In fact, it's a huge letdown. What should have been exciting and challenging was not it was and it was all ruined by needless grinding and doing nothing else and having nowhere to really go to grind to to grind in an effective manner because once you beat all the trainers on the on the routes from one city to the one elite four city to the next there's no good experience all those trainers have boosted experience when you kill their pokemon but if you go through the caves there to fight just regular wild pokemon you get hardly any experience and it's too and the only thing you're left with is going to the secret base and fighting the gym leaders constantly and then going and fighting the trainer trainer which I can show if people want to see that, but I mean, really, all he has is a bunch of Audinos and of various levels that you pay money for, so that you will level your Pokemon. And even that is slow and tedious because you have to fight the gym leaders over and over again, who hardly give you any experience to begin with, to earn the money to go back to. Uh, Pokemon trainer trainer to pay him for whatever level you want and it's pointless to ask him to train your Pokemon at level 100 because for some reason he has a full set of Pokemon until you ask him to train you at level 100 which is like $30,000 and he only has three Pokemon so instead you train at level 90 for 27000 or is it 2700? Yeah, it's 30, 30, 30, 
So it's like 3,000 and... No, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 30,000. I'm sorry, I'm getting my numbers mixed up. I'm half asleep. Let's just say it's not worth it in the end. It, even that gets tedious, and so you're like, well, what do I do to break up the monotony? Well, I guess I'll go and play that stupid um, wall game and see what I can get out of it, and hopefully I'll get a shit ton of money. Um... Which I did that one uh, a couple of times because, see, there's there's so much monotony <coughs> in this game once you get past the Elite Four. And then they make you fight the Elite Four again. Introduce these four unimportant characters. Why? Because we got nothing better to do. Like, Dad, Dad Mom, and Miranda never talked about my my half brother Stuart, far as I know, he never shows up in the game again. So he was pointless. They were all pointless. They did nothing. They were nothing. I will never recommend this game to anyone. I there's just so much wrong with this game. It needed more story. It had a good story. I like the story, but it's the stalling tactics. The monotony that the game forces you into because the creator realizes, oops, uh, we've got all the story done. Um, how am I going to kill some time? Oh, I know. Force level grinding and let's fight the Elite Four again. Let's introduce this plot point of Thor being sick and Loki doing shit for him to try and help him when we never established it before. And then let's have Jake just show up out of nowhere and get his own legendary thing, just like Odin. But apparently this is a good thing. Like, why is Jake treated as a good thing? I don't know, but apparently he is. Then he did some shit to Loki, but somehow Loki's back now. I don't know how that happened. Jason, Jason cat made me lose my train of thought well you did Jake. i mean really what needed to happen was if you're going to force level grind you need to make either break it up or make it enjoyable or both which is really be preferred and again i think more police club missions and more pokemon ranger missions would have done that you know you didn't have to stay on like this thing with Mewtwo and whatever else we were doing uh all you had to do was I mean really all you had to do was you could make new ones you know expand upon them and I don't and as far as I know once you finish both police club and Pokemon Ranger missions that's it that's all there is. There's no more. Not even well. Not even once you beat the Elite Four. Not even once you beat the main storyline. That's that's it. Why? Why? Why can't there be more to do? At this, having played the game now and finished it, my opinion is the Police Club and Pokemon Ranger missions are something to do after you beat the Elite Four. But then the problem becomes, you're not meant to do that. You're meant to do one of each mission after you beat the gym leaders. After you beat the first gym leader, you go and do one of each. After you beat the second gym leader, you go do one of each. After you beat the third gym leader, you go do one of each. It's after each gym leader, not each Elite Four. And I think, I think if maybe you shifted those to the force grinding along with going through these caves and made the caves slightly shorter so that you didn't feel so freaked out and upset about and so bored at the monotony and I think I think it would have been better I mean really there's just not a whole lot to do in this game except once you've beaten the main storyline you get basically Pokemon Coliseum next, 
which I'm so not doing. I'm not interested. This game has not been fun. It's not been enjoyable. And I'm damn sure not playing an entire year's worth of content, likely, to just be bored again. To have to do all this bullshit from level one again. Not interested in that. Will not do it. Fuck this game. I will not play any other game ever in my entire life, whether it's Pokemon or not, by the people who made this game. Also, do not call a game finished or done until it is properly finished and done. They are working on Pokemon Insurgents now, and that's not okay. This game is not finished, and it is not made well. And you can argue with me all you like, that's still how it is. It is not finished, and it is not made well. And I don't care how old you supposedly were when you were working on this game, that still does not change the fact that this game is not finished, and it is not made well. If you have issues plotting a game, pick up somebody who knows how to write. There are many people on the internet, even writers who love Pokemon, and work with them to better fix your story so that it is better. Because as it stands now, this is a horrible game. This is not fun. There's nothing wrong with giving your characters, your characters, your players a challenge, but once again, it should be doable. Difficult, but doable. There are many, many things in this game that are not doable until I hit the same level as some of the trainers, especially the Elite Four, especially the gyms. I mean, I I think I was just, I'm just talking myself in circles at this point. There are many things you could do better, and it would be nice if instead of just abandoning it, abandoning it and calling it done, if they came back to this and actually patched it to a point where things were fixed, like dialogue balloons pointing at weird places, dialogue not being typed right, missing words, grammar issues, uh, new and better music so that you know, we have more array of music. Like, I like some of the more custom themes, which are probably remixes. I mean, there are probably several remix artists that wouldn't mind helping you with your game and providing you music. Unique music. You know, maybe even original music. That would be cool. There are several neat Pokemon remixes. Hundreds and thousands of them in different styles. Uh, they're you know, I I mean, maybe you're not very good at custom spriting or whatever, but you had a dude to help you with these sprites. But some of them, I don't know, some of them are iffy, and some of them are just really creepy. And if you're going for creepy, then that's fine, and it works out great. But, I mean, some of them look, don't look all that great. And, and of course, there are, you know, fans who are happily making you know, mod packs and things, but it would be nice to see more custom sprites, I think. Um, and maybe have, um, well, I was going to say like a character selection so that you could actually pick what your sprite looks like, but at the same time, you can just, you know, go into some kind of paint program and just make your own sprite, which, uh, which that was hard to do because, well, I don't really know anything about spriting on top of the fact that it would have been better for, like, when I was doing the uh, versus um, little character thing to, um, like, have maybe a, um, a Pokemon versus maker, character maker, that, that could have helped a lot. I mean, that's what I used for my, uh, uh, in my, uh, first thumbnails before I defeated the Elite Four. Like, all, all those thumbnails had, 
a character I made in theory to look like my my little icon person thing, you know, my representative character, which is a cat girl, and I used her on all of those. And then I switched to my verses when uh, my verses sprite thing when we went on, and it would just you know in general um just be easier if there was like a template or something. I'm not going to really say that part's a fault of the game, but I'm just saying in general, it would be nice if somebody could make something like that. So that with these fan games, if you can insert your own custom character sprites, um, maybe that'd be a little easier to do. Um, and that's really, I think, all I have to say about this. There's probably more I could rant on about, but I am really really tired i'm done with pokemon thank you god and i don't ever want to have to look at this game again will i ever play another pokemon fan game probably not if i do i'm definitely not recording it again i i picked this because i saw other people playing it and i'm like hey that looks fun that looks like it's got a good story and and people and a whole bunch of people are putting a, their hard work in it, which is was it the whole bunch of people? Uh, it was just two people, and really it was just one person making the whole thing. Um, props, I guess, to using RPG Maker to make this as opposed to uh, hacking um, a, an existing Pokemon game and just changing things. Um, <coughs> But your story writing needs work, your game programming needs work, and your concept of what counts for difficulty needs work. So I'm Caleb and this has been Pokemon Zeta. Thank you for watching and I'm sorry for all the pain and the coughing and the cat hissing in the background. And if you want to see more after game shit, go watch somebody else's LP because I don't give two shits anymore. It's done. Hallelujah. It's done. I need fucking ice cream. Bye.